The longest stage of the 2014 Tour of Oman was set to be a decisive one. 173 kilometers from Wadi Al Abiyad to the Ministry of Housing finishes with four circuits and four ascents of the climb of Busha Al Amrat before a dash back into Muscat. With plenty of work to be done later in the stage, the peloton took it fairly easy for the first 50 kilometers, allowing a break of four to go up the road. Yellow Wallace of Top Sport Vlaanderen was in his third breakaway of the week, no doubt eyeing the first intermediate sprint of the day at 37 kilometers. He duly crossed the line first, followed by Greg Van Avermaet of BMC, Yaroslav Popovic of Trek Factory Racing and Astana's Evan Huffman. Together they built a maximum gap of 8 minutes 10 seconds before the bunch started their chase. This was reduced to 6 minutes 45 as the lead group passed through the feed zone at kilometre 79 with Lotto Belasol, Belkin, Tinkoff Saxo and Team Sky looking to further reduce the deficit. Heading towards the first climb and a high pace was maintained, an average of 45.6 kilometres over the first two hours. While eyes crested the first climb with the peloton four minutes later. It quickly became clear that a fairly select group would be making it to the finish, with sprinters like Andre Greipel and Lee Howard quickly losing contact with the bunch. The quartet forged on over the second ascent, while I is again first over the top. Behind, more riders were getting dropped from the main group, Tom Bonin and Andy Schleck among the notable absentees. By the third time round, Van Avermaet was the only man left out front, now with just a minute over an increasingly select pack. The BMC man was eventually reeled in as the final ascent of Boucher Al Amrat began. An attack for the finish was likely to come from the first group of 40 riders and sure enough last year's winner Chris Froome and his former teammate Rigoberto Uran had a crack over the summit but were quickly covered by the bunch as they began a 13 km plummet to the finish line. Into the final 5 km an Uran had enough legs for another surge and was off the front again this time joined by Peter Sagan and Vincenzo Nibali. They pushed hard and opened up a gap of 20 seconds. The chasers strung out and battled hard to bridge the gap, but they just ran out of meters on the finishing straight as Sagan launched his sprint and claimed his first victory of 2014 in a thrilling finale. The stage results, courtesy of Pro Cycling Stats, are as follows. Sagan takes the win, Uran holding on to second, with Nibali fading into the chasing pack of 20 riders, which included Froome, Rodriguez, Hesink and Vengardren, who all finished two seconds behind Sagan. The Slovakian also takes control of the overall standings. The time bonuses at the finish gives him a 10 second lead on Uran, and as many as 18 seconds on the rest of the GC contenders. It's all set up then for a fascinating stage 5, the Queen stage of the Tour of Oman. 147.5 kilometers starting from Bidbid, with a summit finish of Jabal Al Akhtar. Also known as Green Mountain, this final 5.7 kilometer climb will have a massive effect on the GT standings, with an average gradient of 10.5%, increasing to 13.5% near the summit. Kalaboma Bardiani CSF were on the attack again, and with them were Martin Mascant of United Healthcare and Kevin Ister of I Am Cycling. The leading quartet wasn't given as much freedom as pre 